So, why are we here today? What are we doing? Well, what we are doing is we're going to be streaming uh, the story mode to Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Now, this has been a controversial element of this game in particular due to the lack of an English dub. So, this is the fourth installment of the Blaze Blue series. You can consider this like Blaze Blue 4, uh, at, at least in terms of the story mode. Uh, and the first three Blaze Blue games, Calamity Trigger, Continuum Shift, and Central Fic uh, uh, Chrono Phantasma, the first three games had an English dub, had an English cast, had all these actors that had returned for each and every game, except for Bang's actor, unfortunately. Um, and a lot of people grew attached to that cast and that iteration of Blaze Blue, that localization, and going into Central Fiction, for whatever reason, they decided to just not bring in the English actors, to not give the game an English dub, and it kind of sucked for the gameplay, but it really sucked for the story mode, because it's my understanding that the story mode in this game is even more robust than the previous three, and the previous three games were already very long and very intricate and very involved. So, you know, they're basically visual novels. So it's hard enough for a lot of people to sit through visual novels. Now it's like, you can't even listen to them, you just have to sit there and read, and they're not even as well localized as the uh, the previous ones. So it's it a tough sell, so a lot of people who bought uh, Central Fiction just didn't even bother with the story mode, at least to my understanding. Um, and as such, if you go on the Wikipedia, there's actually a lot of stuff missing or the, the for the fan wiki regarding Central Fiction, because nobody fucking played it. <laughs> um, so what I hope to do today to rectify that to at least a certain extent is I'm going to play through the story mode, but the trick is I have the voice volume all the way down. There will be no Japanese voices. Um, not that the Japanese cast didn't do an amazing job. Of course they did. But to make it more aesthetically pleasing to uh, Western fans, I'm going to attempt to dramatically read the events of Blaze Blue Story Mode to make it a little bit more palatable for people who read the previous three story modes but never got a chance to read the fourth one because of everything that I just explained. So, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, it is not a fan dub for legal reasons. It is You cannot call it a fan dub. This is a Let's Play. This is an um, aesthetically enhanced Let's Play. That's what we're doing right now. Uh, so, we're going to be doing that. I have the chat up. I'll be able to see your comments. Uh, and yeah, so I guess, I guess that's everything. Let's get started. There's the sound. Okay. の時を待ちわびた。実に数奇な運命であったが、ようやく これ。
神楽様、皆さんがいらっしゃいました。Hmm. Maybe we'll just leave it off and just skip the cuts. I don't know. That sucks. It sucks that it's tied to that. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Lord Kagura, everyone's here. Right. Thank you. Wait. This is it? What about the others? Major Kisaragi and Miss Noel are still injured, so I've decided to let them rest. Especially the Major. I doubt he can even move right now. Let's see if we can speed that text up just a bit. Let's see. Uh. Message speed. Instant. Let's try that. Miss Selica is tending to Major Kisaragi's wounds as we speak. It was her own request. Also, Major Tsubaki Yayoi says she wishes to investigate something. Investigate? She seemed quite reticent. She seemed quite reticent to speak about it, so I didn't press the issue. Now that you mention it, Tsubaki was a little odd after that battle. Maybe it has something to do with Major Kisaragi? I hope she's not beating herself up over it. She better not do. She better not be doing something crazy again. Hibiki, stay on her, just in case. There's no point. If she knows her way around the Izayoi, we won't stand a chance. She'll blind us? Heck, even observers can't see her. Good point. Ooh, I heard a don't. I heard a don't. What happened? Somebody joined the overhead army. Nice. Welcome. <laughs> Good point. Damn it. If I knew this was going to happen, I would have taken the easy way from her. Either way, we've got our hands full right now. Let's worry about Tsubaki later and focus. I'm sure you all know why I've gathered you here. We need to assess what's happening in the world right now and come up with countermeasures. Who's talking? Oh, a Tager. <laughs> About the Imperator and that black sphere floating in the sky, right? That's right, and needless to say, we need to discuss what happened to Ragna the Blood Edge. Ragna? Wasn't he the one that did that to Noellers and Major Kisaragi? What does that mean? Whose side is he on, anyway? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We need to take care of one issue at a time. You're right, but I think it's important to explain what happened to Ragna first. As long as it remains a vital element in this world, you need to know the truth behind him. I could even start from the moment he arrived at Kagasuchi, in other words, the very beginning. What do you say? Ah, it's odd, Kokonoe. You, you actually offering to explain something for other people? Is it going to hail tomorrow? First of all. First of all, she fucking explains everything all the time. Kagura, what do you mean? <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> I've made the decision that sharing information is our best recourse in our current situation. Poke fun at me again and I can pretend none of this ever happened. Easy there. Hmm. Okay, this is the first big decision we have to make. I want to know everything from the beginning. Or how about we start with the more recent stuff? Okay. Um. Alright. If you didn't play the first three games, why are you here, right? So, <laughs> I guess we'll just skip the, the recap. Because um, it's all Kokodoi, I think, and I don't really feel like voicing her too much. I don't think it's necessary to explain everything at this moment. What's important is what's happening right now. And I'm pretty sure all of us are familiar with the course of events thus far. Yeah, Tager and I just lived it, so we know what's up. Very well. I'll begin with more recent events.
first that black sphere uh, that black sphere floating in the air that thing Rachel calls the embryo I loathe to say that thing is still a mystery but we did discover something after extended research based on the readings it looks like there's a massive phenomena intervention occurring within that sphere and I don't mean a single intervention I mean perpetually Uh, ooh, this is a problem. I don't know who's talking. <laughs> uh, we'll just pretend it's Kagura. Hang on a sec, Kokono. I, I thought you said that object had no mass, but you're suggesting that something exists within it? I never said it had no mass. I said that it had that its mass. Ha Ugh. I said that its mass was infinitely close to zero. Never mind. That's not the point. Listen to me when I'm talking. Given what we know now. I would guess that the embryo itself is causing the phenomena interventions to occur. In fact, it's easier to cause interventions to occur internally rather than affecting the outside. Even the Tagamagahara can't alter objects outside of our current plane, like the Master Union. The Imperator is no exception to this rule. Um, so what does that mean? That the embryo thing is intervening in events that are going on inside? Or that the object is intentionally altering itself, or observing something going on within itself. What? You mean to tell me that thing is alive? Can't say with certainty. But don't tell me you've forgotten that the object was originally the gigant Taki Mikazuchi. Don't forget, Noxic Taurus are weapons with a will of their own. It wouldn't be so odd if an embryo created from a Noxic Taurus had a will as well, would it? Then, you mean that thing can actually intervene on the master unit? No, that's not possible. Like I said before, no one can intervene on the events of the master unit. Not only that, the master unit is currently under protection of the Tsukuyomi. That is an absolute defense. Even the master unit's own intervention probably couldn't penetrate it. Nevertheless, as long as we know that the Black Sphere is alive, we must keep a close eye on it. Exactly. We must take into consideration every possibility. All right, Hibiki. Put a few... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, Hibiki. Put a few able bodies on monitoring the sphere. But don't get too close. If any of them start to feel sick or weird, have them retreat right away. I don't need to lose any more soldiers. Understood. Sector 7's been keeping a close eye on the fluctuations in Seether, too but we're in the middle of a massive power shortage. I don't know how long we can keep that up. Any support's welcome. I mean, any means... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Hibiki's... This is tough. Because there's no... I wish... Is there a way I can make it so it tells me who's talking on the text thing? I guess not, right? Individual character settings. Wait, what? Oh, I could just turn them off. And then I don't have to turn the voice sound off. Oh, that's sick. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I wanted. Damn it. Hold on. What I would really like, ultimately, is an option that, like, shows me, like, Hibiki, and then the text, and then, like, Kagar, and then the text, so that I know who's talking, other than having to look at the lip flaps, or just guess when no one's on screen. <laughs> oh, this is all falling apart. It's all fucking falling apart. Oh, no, what do I do? Ugh, okay. Hmm... So that's for fighting display oh <laughs> sick okay that's perfect now it's perfect we fixed it okay now we know who's talking now we don't have to worry about cutscenes we're gucci all right that's awesome at least i think okay where was i kagura any supports welcome i mean any means we had that used Seether is now useless. 
which is about 90% of the NOL. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything. Homer convinced Sector, Sector 7. S Wait, whoa. Do their, their lip flaps don't go if you turn them off. That's so weird. Alright, I guess that's fine, right? Whatever. It's kind of weird, but whatever. <clears throat> Speaking of which, where's Homer right now? I haven't seen him in a while. Master Homer is currently situated in the fourth hierarchical city of Niobe. He can be found in the Yayoi residence, as well as the remaining duodecim. Thanks to Lord Homura, the hierarchical cities are somewhat able to maintain their operations, which gives us a window to take care of our own business. Still, what do we know now? We're, sh we're short-handed to say the least. And we still have no idea where Ragnar the Blood Edge is, right? Do we have any clues? No. I saw a blip of a reading show up for a second, but it disappeared almost immediately. The rest is a complete mystery. The embryo is sucking up all Seether in the area. He might be weak because of that. Worst case, he already kicked the bucket. Whoa, whoa, come on now. We need him to defeat Izanami, right? What are we going to do if he already croaked? I'm just saying that's a possibility, but don't worry, we'll find him. I mean, if he's lost in the boundary, I know how to run a salvage operation thanks to Hakuman. Not a sign of Izanami, Terami, or Aurelius. What the hell are they waiting for? Hmm. Hey, Tsubaki! Here to check up on Jin? Oh, um, yes. How is he doing? Hmm. He seems to be okay, but honestly, I'm not really sure. I don't think he should be walking around for a while. I wish I could help him, but the treatments aren't as effective as I thought. No, you've been helping him to recover this whole time. In comparison, I feel useless. I mean, what have I done to help? That's not true at all. Here, show Jin your face, and I'm sure he'll feel a lot better. Do you really think so? Yeah, of course. I'll go check with Kokonoe real quick. Right. Thanks, and excuse me. Now, report, report. Huh? Minerva? Where are you going? Wait! Yeah, sorry if the girls sound kind of cringy. <laughs> Not much I could do about that. <laughs> it's Tsubaki. Come in. I thought it was Noel here, not Tsubaki. Ah, no, it is Tsubaki. Okay. Jin. What's the matter? Tell me what's happening. Oh, right, of course. Right now... Colonel Mutsky is taking command and assessing the situation, as well as gathering information. Lord Homura and the Duodecim's Hazuki family are tending to the different cities. And Professor Kokonoe is researching the massive black sphere that appeared in the sky. But there's still too many unknowns to draw a conclusion. Captain Kohaku has taken charge of tracking the Imper- Uh, Izanami and Ragnar the Blood Edge. As of right now... There seems to be no clues. However, and this information is still not confirmed, but what? It was only for a moment, but the Seether readings within the Federation resembled that of the Black Beast. I see. Thank you, Tsubaki. Is there more? Forgive me. Why are you apologizing? Well, because you were wounded from fighting me, and if you weren't wounded, I'm sure you wouldn't have lost to Ragnar the Blood Edge either, and oh, I'm so sorry. Don't give yourself too much credit. This was a result of my lack of strength. You need not worry. But... Enough. 
May I stay by your side? The Zero Type Izayoi. Immortal Breaker. Don't rely on weapons too much. This is a warning. I'll keep that in mind. Besides, the match with my br- Ragnar the Blood Edge is mine and mine alone. You stay out of it. Um, is it all right if I ask you something? What is it? Why is it that you sometimes call Ragnar the Blood Edge your brother? Are you two related? I don't think that requires much explanation. There aren't many meanings to brother. But you are heir to the Kisaragi family. Naturally, you know the truth behind the Kisaragi legacy, do you not? I am one of them. Then Ragnar the Blood Edge is also related to the Kisaragi residents? But how could... This is before I joined the Kisaragis. May I hear the story? <sighs> My first memory is within the walls of a room painted gray. A gray room? I don't remember where it was, but I do remember my brother, Ragnar the Blood Edge, and a sister named Saya. The three of us were always together, in the corner of the room as though embraced by our older brother. But one day all that changed. With a loud shockwave, the entire area went black, and before I knew what happened, I was inside of a church. In the church was a sister. She took us into her custody. We lived together. It wasn't all that bad. Compared to the room I used to be in, it was like heaven. It felt like she was waiting for us to arrive. Is that so? Then why were you the only one adopted into the Kisaragi residence? That's... I frankly don't remember, but I remember trying to kill my brother. Huh? The church was on fire, and someone... Someone was calling to me. Kill this thing, it is evil. And I obeyed that voice. And with murderous intent as clear as day, I slashed at my own brother. What's up, Segundo? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Murderous intent towards your own brother? That day, when I received the Yukianasa, or rather when I claimed it, looking back, perhaps my consciousness was controlled from that day onwards. The insanity and fear I felt when I grasped its hilt. And also the murderous intent. Murderous? Mucro... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Mucro Algesco Yukianasa was designed to slaughter the Black Beast. And I think it believed my brother, Ragnar the Blood Edge, was that very beast. Ragnar the Blood Edge? The Black Beast? What do you mean? I'm not sure of the details myself, but... What I can say with certainty is that the Black Beast is the very root of evil in this world. That power is about to once more awaken within Ragnar the Blood Edge. It must be stopped at all costs, no matter the sacrifice. Yukianasa was beyond my control. I was its slave. But now I will wield it. It will not control me. Still, I think it's very sad for brothers to be fighting. The power of the black beast I sense from my brother is growing every day. Even, a, even Saya appeared before me, 
as Izanami. What? Then Izanami is also your sibling, Jin? I need to slay my brother before it's too late. I believe that is the purpose of my existence. You're wrong! Tsubaki? You are a leader, Jin. Killing Ragna can't possibly be your only purpose in this world. Please, don't say such sad things. I'm not going to deny my responsibility as the power of order. No, I won't believe it. Here we go. <laughs> Major Kisaragi? It's Noel Vermillion. You summoned me? Enter. E excuse me. Huh? Tsubaki? It's all right. Don't worry. Please take care of yourself, Jin. Tsubaki. Do not forget what I told you. If you'll excuse me. <sighs> Stubborn. Huh? Did you say something? Shut up. I didn't ask for your opinion, obstacle. I'm sorry. Never mind. I've got some questions for you. Answer me truthfully. Y yes. What happened? When we fought my brother, Ragda the Blood Edge. Huh? Major, are you... I'm the one asking the questions, now answer me. I'm sure you felt the same thing, but... I remember sensing the power of the Black Beast from within Ragna. I was going to support you with the Murakumo unit, but you just lunged into combat and... I was first? Major, are you... I'm asking the questions. Major Kisaraki, please tell me why I'm here. <sighs> I don't remember what happened during that fight. But that's... that's impossible. I mean, you... The impossible just became possible. My memories as the power of order have been modified. Or possibly erased. It can't be. The power of order supersedes any type of observation or intervention. It's absolute! How can it be manipulated? Why the hell do you think I'm talking to you now? My theory is that something within my brother, within the Black Beast, has the ability to do that. Something... When Ragnar the Blood Edge began to go berserk, what did you see? What did I... see? You heard me. You observed something. What was it? Um, while you were attacking, I think I, I was distracted by the Imperator, and at moment, I think I saw a shadow of the Black Beast appear from Ragna, and, and you were consumed by it, Major. And my, my memory's rather hazy, too, but I think I saw something that looked like a gate. A gate? Yes, it was a large gate, and there was something in front of it. I'm sorry, but that's really all I remember. A gate. Hmm. So it's not that. Uh, Major? Anything else? Is there anything that comes to mind? Um, no, not really. Sorry. <sighs> Useless. I apologize. Forget it. If you remember anything else, you come straight to me. Clear? Yes, of course. Also, Lieutenant Vermilion, start looking for Ragna the Blood Edge. I'd rather not ask you if I had another option, but I think you have the best chance of finding him. Roger that. I'll begin the search for Ragna the Blood Edge immediately. I need you to find him before Tsubaki. That's an order. Before Tsubaki? Repeat it. Understood. I will find Ragna before Tsubaki. Now that you've got it, get out of here. Sir, excuse me. Damn it. How pathetic. I can't even move when I need to move the most. 
How long are you just going to sit there? If you've got something to say, say it already. Trinity? <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I don't mean to barge in on you while you're recovering. Are you becoming dependent on Bulwark? Or is that Yuki Anasa? It's so odd that you can move between Nox and Taurus. What do you want? Trinity Glassfeel, one of the six heroes. There isn't much time. Please, hear me out. Jin Kisaragi, this is something only you, with the power of order, can do. God, more girls. <laughs> I guess Jin's worried about Tsubaki after all. When Ragna the Blood Edge began to go berserk, what did you see? Something I saw. What did I see inside the Black Beast? That gate-like structure. I can't remember. It's like my memories are all hazy right now. And someone was there. This is so important. It could be the answer to Major Kisaragi's memories. What could possibly be so strong that, that it can affect the power of order? Oh, I'm so stupid. How come I can't remember? I'm well aware of your... Uh, Let me try that again. <laughs> I'm well aware of your stupidity. But do you truly not remember? Huh? Miss Rachel! How long have you been there? You surprised me. <laughs> Shut up, Segundo. <laughs> For quite some time, you're... Uh, for okay. Okay. For quite some time now. You're a complete fool, and you talk to yourself. I suppose it's no wonder you didn't notice. Oh, that's so mean. Where were you, Miss Rachel? Kagura and the others were looking for you. I think they want to talk. Funny. I wanted to have a little chat, too. Not with them, but with you. Uh, me? That's right. What happened to your power? Of the God Slayer? Uh, what do you mean? What? I've been observing you for some time. But I can't seem to... I can't seem to see your powers. Blaze Blue is really weirdly written. <laughs> Just in general. It's as though that part of you has been severed and removed. There might be a lapse in your own memory. Plausible cause? No. What? Huh? Huh? What's that mean? How could that... Have you stopped to think about it? How you've lost your own power, yet seem to be oblivious? How dense can you be? And this is about you. I'm afraid I do not possess all the answers you seek. I certainly wouldn't know... Uh, I certainly wouldn't know you better than you do, Noel. Major Kisiragi said something similar. About only me knowing something. And... How did I not notice? Like, not having that half was normal? Why? It must have been them. Ragnar the Blood Edge went berserk as the Black Beast and swallowed you both. That's when something happened. I fear that the cause of you losing... I fear that's the cause of you losing your power. But what is also exactly what I... Ugh, Jesus Christ, give me a second. <clears throat> but that is also exactly what I wanted to ask you. What happened? Major Kisaragi asked me the same thing. But we were inside Ragna at the time. I, I can't remember exactly what we saw. Saw? You mean you observed something within Ragna? Yes, it looked like a gate, 
but I don't exactly know what it was. Gate? If Ragna has awakened the power as the Black Beast, then perhaps... No, it's impossible. But if it really is linked to the Azure Abyss, then... This is not good. Azure... Abyss? I'm sure you already know this, but the Black Beast's existence is a cauldron itself. The bigger its power becomes, the more the Black Beast is drawn towards the Azure. W wait a second, Miss Rachel, um, you make it sound like Ragna is the Black Beast already. Hmm, I thought this knowledge was beneath you, but clearly I'm mistaken. Technically, he's not. The Azure Grimoire is. Huh? When the Azure Grimoire comes into contact with a strong soul, the Black Beast is born. But that soul can't simply be anyone's soul. What's more? Huh? I'm... Never mind. We can save that for later. Right now, I need you to remember exactly what you saw. No, we can't save it for later. You just told me Ragna already transformed into the Black Beast. Ugh, silly child. If Izanami summoned the real Black Beast, then neither one of us would be standing here right now, Sword of the Godslayer or not. Is that so? If this is somehow related to your losing the power of the Godslayer, then... Although, this is still a theory right now. I observed something, and it triggered these events. Yes, remembering those events is your top priority. Once you unravel that mystery, we will know why you lost your power. Oh, how we need that... Oh, I'm sorry, that's uh, Rachel. Oh, how we need that idiot. Ragna, I need to find him. You knew right away from idiot. I'm impressed, Noel. You've grown. You're always so mean to me, Miss Rachel. <laughs> I wonder where he's killing time right now. Uh, what? What? Where are we? Impossible! What the hell's going on? What's wrong, Kokonoe? I've lost Noel. What? Teleportation magic? Is it Phantom? No, I didn't see her readings. She was inside the facility only moments ago. This doesn't make any sense. Hibiki, call for backup. Relay this intel to all your units. Understood. This is... the master unit? I never thought you would invite us here, Izanami. Quite a nice view, don't you think? I cordially accept your invitation. Right answer? You would be honored. You should be honored to be in my presence. Then perhaps you'll forgive my... Excuse me. <clears throat> then perhaps you'll forgive my question, Izanabi. What do you plan to do with this embryo? What do I... <laughs> you make me laugh, Harlequin. The Day of Reckoning, of course. Then, the embryo should not be necessary. Neither is absorbing all the people of this world as Seether. And the few chosen that remain? This is different from any day of reckoning that I know. What do you want? A foolish question. You already know the answer. Truth be told, you won the moment you summoned the Master Unit. Ah, clever girl. There are dozens of ways I can destroy the Master Unit. What? Impossible! I'm afraid it isn't, Noel. Which is why I failed to understand why you went through the trouble summoning Takemikazuchi and creating the embryo Izanami. You thought I'd be satisfied with this alone, did you, Rachel Alucard? I seek a complete death. 
to erase every fragment, every trace of this wretched world, repeating itself over and over. That is why I need the embryo. Give up. This war is already over. Accept the death I will bestow upon you with open arms. Give up? I don't think you know me well enough, because that's something I don't do. Apparently. <laughs> Izanami. Show me the respect I deserve, child. Why? Why did you hide Ragna away? Ragna? Oh, Ragna the Blood... How many fucking Ragnas do you know, Izanami? <laughs> oh, you... I thought you... For a second, I thought you meant Ragna the Grocery Delivery Salesman. Like, what do you... Yes, Ragna the Blood Edge. <laughs> I would love to know the answer myself. Where might we find him? A silly question. You're asking the wrong person. She has the answer. She made him disappear, after all. I did? The embryo. Oh, no, Noel, don't! Uh, Ragna? That's where you were. Ragna the Blood Edge. Izanami. This is why you summoned us here. Uh, I don't understand. We weren't the only ones looking for him. The only variable in its in <clears throat> the only variable in this orchestra, Ragna the Blood Edge, is now a certainty. With his existence confirmed, there is no indefinite paths remaining. Damn. <laughs> What a fool. What do you expect that man to do? He has no right to make a choice. Or are you going to make him feast on this world? Is that what you want? Violent child. What I want? No, I would never want Ragnar to do such a thing. Oh, don't make me laugh, Noel Vermilion. You were the one craving destruction, not me. No, stop. That's ridiculous. Why would I wish for destruction? Instilling your desires onto others. Abominable. Fall into the deepest chasms of the underworld for all eternity. The end is near. To all chosen across the world, I declare upon thee, grovel, grief, and know the meaning of despair. The day of reckoning is upon us. No, Noel, you mustn't. Eek! <laughs> I need, I need some water. Ugh. Dude, doing girl versus doing girl voices is hard. Ugh. Damn! What the hell happened? This is... a forest? Why was I collapsed out in the middle of a forest? Ugh. Ugh. What the hell? My head's splitting. Where am I? Why am I in a forest? And...
You've got to be kidding. I, I can't remember who I am? Seriously? <clears throat> who? Hey, what a coincidence. <laughs> no need to be so on edge. I'm sorry for following you. <sighs> You've been putting on quite a show. I've heard rumors about you all... I've heard rumors about you in all the hierarchical cities. Seems like the librarians put a large bounty on your head. <laughs> You're quite famous. I, I can't do G-Boy's voice. It's like, it's not southern, it's like, it's like weird. Famous? Bounty? What? You haven't heard your own reputation? I'd expect about as much from you. But you need to be careful. There's lots of people targeting you in every city. Especially the NOL. The Novus Orvis Librarium is getting desperate. You'll have vigilantes seeking that bounty and hunting you down, too. You'd best be prepared. Uh, thanks for the warning, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Vigilantes? Librarium? What does that even mean? What? Are you seriously asking that question? Yeah, I am serious. I don't even know you, but it seems like you know me, though. And also, you're a cat, right? As far as I know, cats shouldn't be able to talk. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's wrong with you? I know we haven't seen each other in a while, but I don't appreciate jokes like that. Show some respect for your teacher. Teacher? My cat's a teacher? Or, I'm sorry, a cat's my teacher? And wait, a, a teacher of what? Did you hit your head? Or did the Seether get to you? I don't know. I have no idea why I was out here. Ah, damn it! Don't tell me you don't have any memories. What's going on? Or could this be a phenomenon that occurs on the world repeats itself? Repeats itself? Phenomenon? I have no idea what you mean. Hey, cat guy, I haven't understood a single thing you've said. Why don't you explain yourself instead of mumbling? Considering that tone you're taking, it looks like I'm not mistaking you for someone else. In other words, this is troublesome. That's why I... Sorry, but I don't have time to explain everything to you. There's something I need to investigate right now. What? Wait up! You just continue heading to Kagutsuchi for now. What the hell is Kagutsuchi? Where the hell are we? Oh, so you don't even know that? You can see the edge of the forest over there, right? If you climb that mountain, there's a city. The 13th Hierarchical City, Kagutsuchi. Just follow the path. City? Oh, that. You need to go there. Got it? I said, wait, what am I supposed to do there? You'll know when you get there. And if you don't, you'll figure it out. What? That doesn't even make sense. Hey, come on. At least tell me who I am. Damn it. That's one fast cat. He didn't even seem like an ordinary person. Or, I'm sorry, he didn't seem like an ordinary person, that's for sure. And he wasn't even helpful. Nothing he said made any sense. I don't remember anything. Yet I'm supposed to go to some city? Kagutsuchi. I don't think I've ever heard that name before. But it's not like I have any other clues. I guess I should go. Besides, I might, l I might learn something about myself there. But who is that cat, anyway? My teacher? Damn it! He could have at least told me his name. <sighs> I finally... <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> 
I finally reached what looks like a city. I was walking along pipes forever. I thought I'd never reach the city. Wait. It's great that I made it here and all, but what am I supposed to do? The cat told me that I'd know when I arrived. But I have absolutely no idea. Attack! What am I going to do for Tao's voice? Jesus Christ. Whoa! Who the hell are you? Another cat? <laughs> I finally found you, Grim Reaper. You're out of luck. Tao's going to bring you to justice right meow. <laughs> oh, God. What? Wait a second. I have no idea what you mean, Grim Reaper. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. The infamous wanted criminal. The Grim Reaper. Look, you're right here, meow. Huh? This is a wanted poster? Let me see. Uh! Wait, wait. This is supposed to be me? Does this really look like my face? Yep. Spiky white hair, an evil-looking and scratchable face, red clothes with a huge sword, meow. <sighs> yeah, my hair is white and my clothes are red. I've got a huge sword, too. But am I really this guy? Am I really this ugly? <laughs> a perfect meowch. Wow, that's depressing. The librarian will give lots of money to whoever beats up and catches the Grim Reaper. Tao's gonna get tons of money and eat lots of food, meow. That's what you want? I can eat as meowch as I pure... What the f- Oh, per- Oh, God. <laughs> I can eat as meowch as I purlease with lots of money. Here I come. Wait. That first cat said something about a bounty, too. You're telling me crazy people like you were hunting me? For justice, yeah! Woo! Uh. I'm so hungry. I'm at my limit, meow. Hey, are you alright? Not alright. At this rate, Tao will die of hunger. So hungry. So sad. <laughs> oh <my> god. <laughs> hey, pull yourself together. Don't just collapse right in front of me. You, Grim Reaper guy. What? Do you need a hand? Come a little closer. Ah, oh, jeez. Ha! I gotcha! Whoa! Don't just cling to my arm like that. Reaper guy, buy Tao some food. What? You're kidding me. Why the hell do I have to buy food for you? Hey, get off my arm! Let go! No, I won't let go. I'll never let go until you buy Meow some food! Why, you... You look like you were about to die a second ago. But you're perfectly fine. Damn it! I can't get you off! <laughs> Just give up, Grim Reaper. You could never get away from Tao Meow. <laughs> God. <laughs> The hell are you talking about? And make up your damn mind! Nom 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 nom! <laughs> so this is D&D. Yeah, it's literally just D&D, honestly. It's D&D &D with magic and, like, quantum physics written by somebody who doesn't really understand quantum physics, but totally thinks they understand quantum physics. Then again, I wouldn't know, because I don't understand quantum physics, so who could say, really? <sighs> om nom 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 <laughs> Exactly how much are you going to eat? Are you planning to eat everything in the shop? Hmm? Reaper guy, aren't you going to eat? If you're full, Tao will eat your leftovers. Give it to Meow. I'm not giving it to you. I was just astounded by your ridiculous appetite. Oh, that's too bad. In that case, I have some of these meat buns, Meow. 
I already figured as much. But I'm still shocked that you're still eating. By the way, you... Tao, right? Meow. About the Grim Reaper on that wanted poster. What did he do to get such a huge bounty on his head? Mmm, bad things. That's why the librarian wants him caught. Bad things? That's pretty vague. You're chasing him without knowing, aren't you? Alright, fine. Then at least tell me what this librarian is. They live at the top of Kagutsuchi, and they wear blue and white clothes. Also, they don't buy me own food. I'm sure that's normal. But the Grim Reaper bought food for Tao, so he's good. You aren't Reaper guy, you're good guy from now on. Huh? Sure, call me whatever you want. I probably can't get much more information out of my situa about my situation out of her. But the librarian, huh? The old cat mentioned that name too. I don't fully understand yet, but I should be careful about them. Ugh, I ate too much. So full. So happy, Vial. <laughs> I see. That's good. Huh? Wait a minute. How much money do I even have? Let's see. Where's my wallet? Ah, there it is. Uh, hey, Tao? Meow? We need to run. Huh? They didn't pay their bill! Someone, catch them! Good guy! Lots of people are chasing us! I can see that! Don't act like this is a game! Wow, good guy! You're a really fast runner, but Tao won't lose! Hey, wait! Meow, Tao's really good at playing tag! This way, good guy! D -d don't just decide on your own! Oh, damn it! But I don't know where else to run! Damn it. Tao, how far are you gonna make me run? Yeah, I was gonna make, take you to my village, but I took the wrong road. You took the wrong road? Why, you... <laughs> but we won the game. Well, you're right about that. Thanks, Tao. Meow. Where are we? Is this still Kagutsuchi? This is an area called Ronin Gai. It's a place constructed by refugees from Ikaruga, on the outskirts of Kagutsuchi. Huh? Wow, an actual answer. Wait, who are you? Ah, sorry. I'm Carl Clover, a vigilante. Vigilante? I think I've heard that term before. We are bounty hunters. We capture wanted criminals and turn them into libra and turn them in to the librarium for money. A kid like you, a bounty hunter? Wait, then that means Yes. I was searching for you, Grim Reaper. Damn it. I knew it. Wait just a minute. Tao found the Grim Reaper first. I won't let you steal my target, meow. You're in the way. Can you move? Never meow. Tao will fight you first. How bothersome. Nirvana. Meow. Meow. Bodied. Now then, that nuisance is gone. I thought you were just a kid, but you're more merciless than I thought. Of course. I'm not playing around, after all. Still, I'm glad that I found you before the Librarium did, Grim Reaper. Wait. I've never been... Bleh. I've never been called that name before. Maybe this is a... misunderstanding. Yeah, you're mistaking me for someone else. That's highly unlikely. And even if it was a mistake, I simply just have to search again. What? 
Grim Reaper. I have no intention. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Grim Reaper, I have no intention of turning you into the Librarium. However, I'd like the Azure Grimoire you're carrying. Azure Grimoire? What's that? I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not carrying a book. Playing dumb, I see. You don't know when to give up, do you? I'm telling you, I... I have no intention of having a friendly chat with you. Just give it to me. If not, I won't show mercy. Are we going to fight? Okay, here we go. And I think because I have the sound on, they'll actually have voices in combat. I'm not gonna make the sound shut up. <laughs> uh oh. I'm gonna lose! Oh no! Ah! <laughs> I have it set to hell mode to make things a little bit spicier. Uh, would I like to try again? Yeah, I would like to try again. <laughs> oh god. That's embarrassing for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm, I'm using a different controller than what I'm used to. I bought a, I bought the Razor Ryan fight pad and uh... Oh boy. It's a really good controller, I'm just not used to it. Oh god. Got him! <laughs> Ugh. That was messy. That was very, very messy. <laughs> As expected, you're pretty strong. <laughs> the kid himself isn't too strong, but that doll he has with him. What the hell is that? I've got a bad feeling about this. I should take him out now, or he could be trouble later. Hey, kid, sorry, but it's your fault for picking the wrong fight. Take this! Nirvana! What? The doll! Damn, what's with this doll? Well done, Nirvana, but the situation isn't good. We should retreat for now. Nirvana. Uh, hey, wait. Damn. I took a bad hit. That doll's claws aren't ordinary metal, are they? I need to stop the bleeding. You there. Are you alright? I was born for this role. <laughs> now who is it? Do I look alright to you? What a terrible wound! There's a hole in your gut! This isn't good. I'll take you to a good doctor I know post-haste! Just hold on until then. Thank you. And sorry for the trouble. Shit. I'm fading out. This is absurd. I can't die here. Damn it. Oh, oh no! Pull yourself together, Traveler! Traveler! What the fuck? Lambda? Hmm? What is it, Lambda? 
Seether abnormality detected. Sending data now. It's really in Kagetsuchi? And this change in Seether concentration. There's no mistake. <laughs> I finally found you. Tager, do you read me? Where are you right now? This is Tager, reading you loud and clear. Currently about 8,200 meters above Kagutsuchi. I should reach the projected landing point in 7 minutes and 42 seconds. I see. I just detected a reading that could be a... <clears throat> I just detected a reading that could be the Azure Grimoire. You and Bullet need to go directly to this location. Understood. It seems the information was correct. Yeah. The Grim Reaper is hiding out in Kagutsuchi. Don't let him escape. You need to retrieve the Azure Grimoire. I'll do what I can. Also, tell Bullet not to forget to set up the pro blah, 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 blah. Tell Bullet not to forget to set up the teleporter. I'll send Lambda over as soon as it's ready. Got it. TR-0009 Tager. Starting mission. I see. Those children, Ragn and the others, were locked away in such a terrible place. They were being used for experiments in the lab. I'll spare you the details. That's okay. You don't need to tell me. I can already imagine. Also, it's more important to think about providing them a peaceful life now, rather than looking back at their dreadful past. Does that mean I can entrust them to you? Oh, I think I read that wrong. Oops, sorry. <laughs> of course. Let me take care of them. I'll do all I can to protect them. Yes, please do. I can't think of a better place for them to stay. Or a better person to look after them. I thank fate for this. And thank you, Jubei. There you go. The treatment's all done. Ragna? Oh dear. Jin and Saya are fast asleep. If they sleep here, they'll catch a cold. We should carry them to bed. Don't touch them! Don't go near Jin and Saya! Hey, Ragna, she won't hurt them. It's okay. I know your younger brother and sister are important to you. As their older brother, you need to protect them. I had an older sister before. She was very strong, reliable, and I was so proud of her. She always protected me, just like you, Ragna. Ugh. Ragna, I know that you can't... Uh, I know that you can't start trusting me right away, but you, Jin, and Saya are all very tired. <laughs> when people are tired, they get sick. Don't you think it would be better for them to sleep in a comfy bed instead of a hard floor? There are bedrooms over there. We have soft beds and warm blankets. I'm sure you'll sleep nice and tight. Ugh. Okay, then what about this? I'll bring mattresses and blankets out here, and the three of you can sleep together. In the morning, I'll make bread and warm soup for you. I can make salad with vegetables from the garden, too. I'm sure Jin and Saya will feel much better. Okay? Ugh. Okay. I don't want Jin or Saya to catch a cold. That's right. I'll bring plenty of blankets. It gets pretty chilly around dawn. So you need to look out for them. I'll help. Thank you. Then let's carry them together. Blah, blah, blah. Looks like I can leave this up to you. Yes, of course. He is Ragna, after all. What's that mean? <laughs> I'll tell you someday. Now come right this way. <sighs> what? 
Where am I now? I see you're awake. <laughs> ah, no need to be alarmed. You're okay. Nobody's going to be trying to capture you here. Oh, hold on. Testing one, two. Okay. That just makes me even more suspicious. I'm sure it would. My name is Lychee Failing. I'm a doctor. This is a private clinic in Orient Town. Doctor? You don't remember anything? You were carried here with a terrible wound on your stomach. Carried here? You seem to be unconscious, so it's no surprise you don't remember. I was quite shocked myself. You were carried in here, covered in wounds. You were unconscious, but you were still trying to stand up on your own. According to Bang, he found you collapsed in Ronin Guy. It's good that he found you so quickly. Things wouldn't have gone so well for you if he hadn't. Bang? I keep hearing names I don't recognize. Oh, I'm sorry, it's okay. I'll explain everything that you don't understand. Hell, hold on. Don't. Uh. I want to see the whole chat. Why isn't it not showing me the whole chat? Ah! Oh my god. Just let it go. God, stop it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let me chat pause due to crawl. Stop it. So you're gonna stop typing weird stuff. <laughs> stop that. That's not okay. Don't do that. That's not cool. Don't be weird. Okay. First, this is Lin Hua, my assistant. She helped treat you too. The person who carried you here is named Bang. I asked him to go shopping, but he should be back soon. Aha! So you've awoken! <laughs> when you came clinging on... When you came clinging on to me with such a terrible wound... Okay. When you came clinging on to me with such a terrible wound, asking for my aid, I thought the situation was grave indeed. As expected, Miss Lychee, Kagosuchi's number one doctor can revive even those with mortal wounds. You're exaggerating as usual. Also, his wound was deep, but I wouldn't say that it was necessarily mortal. What? No, that was definitely a matter of life and death. Hold on, before we go any further, who did you say was clinging on to whom? Um, of course you were clinging on to the ninja of love and justice. Bang, Shishigami! Ha 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 ha! Why, you quit making things up. Uh, anyway, Bang. Bang was the one who carried you here. He's a little strange, but he's reliable. What's this, Miss Lychee? You called me reliable. Does this mean that you've accepted my love? What? No. <laughs> uh, so direct. You're so persistent, Bang. Oh, wait, no, that's Linhua. You're so persistent, Bang. Why don't you just give up? Dr. Lychee has already has somebody that she loves. What? I've never heard of this. Is this true, Miss Lychee? You already love another? Huh? It's nothing like that. Sheesh, Linhua. <laughs> Can I leave now? <laughs> Ragnar's based. <laughs> oh, sorry. This always happens, but where would you go? You don't have somewhere to hide. Grim Reaper. You. Don't misunderstand. I'm just a doctor. But you aren't just an ordinary patient. You're an SS-class criminal with an enormous bounty. Only the second in history, I believe. 
Orient Town is surrounded by vigilantes from all over the world. And if you go out into the upper levels, you'll find the Librarium soldiers are on the lookout for you. Do you know your way around, Kagutsuchi? Is there anyone you can rely on? If you're just going to wander around aimlessly, it's my responsibility not to release you. I don't know where to go. I don't even know why I came to Kagutsuchi. What? You're the Grim Reaper, aren't you? Didn't you come to destroy the library? Library? Oh, that's a name for the Librarium, the Novus Orbis Librarium. People around here just call it Library because they possess so many grimoires. Huh. Well, that doesn't matter. More importantly, this Grim Reaper is a guy who's destroying them? Are you really the Grim Reaper? Excuse me. He's quite similar to the picture on the wanted posters. So I really do look like that. However, this man doesn't seem to be the heinous criminal spoken of in rumors. That's... hmm. I hope not. I feel the same way. It's really troublesome. This whole bounty and grim reaper thing. What does this mean? Are... are you not the grim reaper? I don't know. I can't remember anything. I don't remember my name, where it came from, and whether or not this I'm this Grim Reaper guy. Wait, then that means you have amnesia? Probably. You're kidding. If that's the case, I definitely can't let you leave. The Librarium is in a frenzy, hunting for you. Or at least hunting for the Grim Reaper. The Librarium is an organization that manages Kagutsuchi and all of the hierarchical cities in the world. The Grim Reaper has utterly demolished the Librarium's branches into two lo in two locations already. It's no surprise that they wouldn't let such a criminal rest easy. According to rumors, even the hero of Ikaruga, who distinguished himself in the Ikaruga Civil War, has come to Kagutsuchi to hunt the Grim Reaper. A hero, huh? I sure do seem to be popular popular. <laughs> Do you even realize your situation? Destroying a librarian branch is an act of treason. If you're captured, you'll be executed. A simple, a simple beheading would be merciful. A simple beheading? That's scary enough as it is. They show no mercy to those who oppose them. They think they own the entire world. Lin Hua. What? It's true. <sighs> we can't let him leave, but we can't keep him here forever. Librarian soldiers patrol and inspect the area from time to time. If they find out... <clears throat> if they find out you've been sheltering the Grim Reaper, there's no telling what they do to you, Dr. Lychee. I won't let anyone lay a finger on you, Miss Lychee. <sighs> Thank you. I don't want to cause trouble for you. Thanks for the help. Wait, your wounds haven't fully healed yet. You need to recover somewhere in the li so the librarian won't find you. Hmm. Ronin Guy is watched more closely than Orient Town by the librarian, so it wouldn't be safe. That's true. Then you can come to Tao's village, meow! The Kaka Clan village? That's not an I that's not a bad idea. Wait, Tao! Whoa! Whoa, what a shock! Tao! When did you get here? Just now, good guy. That big doll knocked me out, and when I woke up, the good guy wasn't anywhere around, so I followed your scent, meow. By my scent? Well, that's actually pretty amazing. It's a delicious scent. <laughs> I'm not food. It's just a joke. Tao, do you know this man? He brought me food earlier, meow. Don't tell me you attacked another person and forced them to buy you food? Another? You do this all the time? He 
It was really good, Biao. As thanks, I'll show you to Kaka Village. <sighs> She's hopeless. But it's true that the Kaka Clan Village will be a suitable hiding place. The Librarian doesn't often go there, and very few people know it even exists. There's a place like that? Good. I don't want trouble. Tao, lead me there. Just leave it to Meow. I'll go as well. I still haven't finished treating you. That's not necessary. You took care of the worst part. I'll get, it'll get better on its own sooner or later. No, no, no. As a doctor, I have a responsibility to take care of my patient. Linhua, look after the clinic for a while. Okay. Just give up, Mr. Reaper. Dr. Lychee's really stubborn about these things. Fine. I shall go as well. He may be injured, but the Grim Reaper is still a man of age. What the fuck does that mean? But the Grim Reaper is still a man of age? Oh, I see what he means. Okay. Grim Reaper is still a man of age. I cannot allow him to be alone with you, Miss Lychee. I'm thankful, but I want you to check up on the librarian, Bang. But I want to go too! I feel more assured with you along, but it's more important that you find information about the Librarium now. For example, how far along are they are they in their search for the Grim Reaper? I can't investigate that myself. As the head ninja of Ikaruga, I'd like you to do it, Bang. I think you're the only one who can pull it off. Will you? Ugh. In that case, I cannot refuse. It's true that such an important mission can only be accomplished by me. Bang Shishigami! Leave it to me, Miss Lychee. I, Bang, shall pour my heart and soul into investigate. Hold on. Sorry, I'll be back in just a sec. Testing one, two, one, two, testing. I see the entire chat. Let's fix that. There we go. That's better. Okay. <clears throat> Where was I? Leave it to me, Miss. Try that again. <laughs> Leave it to me, Miss Lychee. I, Bang, shall pour my heart and soul into investigating the librarium. And with that, I'm off. <laughs> what kind of sound effect was that? <laughs> that was godlike. <laughs> What a simple-minded man. He's a kind person, though. Anyway, we should get ready and leave. Let's go, Biao. See you again. Be careful, Doctor. NOL Guard. Please watch your step, Colonel Kagramutsky. I hope you had a pleasant journey. Hey there. Thanks for coming to welcome me. Oh, that's not a problem, sir. I'm honored to have the privilege of escorting the hero of Ikagura to our branch. Ooh, he's the hero of Ikagura? Oh, that's interesting. Come on now, that's enough. The word hero doesn't suit me. More importantly... What's your name? Oh, it's a girl. Oh, no! <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> Well, I gotta commit to it. It's a girl with that voice. <laughs> That's a shame. What's your name? You've got really pretty eyes. I'd love to take a closer look. Uh huh? So, you have plans tonight? If not, I... For great justice! I don't know who this is. Oh, Jesus! What are you doing? Oh, it's Makoto, of course. 
That's my line. Behave yourself. You're always hitting on women no matter where you no matter where you go. Do you even remember why you came to Kagatsuchi, Colonel Mutsuki? I know, I know. Jeez, Makoto. You seem more tense than usual. I don't know about tense, but I am serious. Someone important to my friends gone missing after all. Don't be in such a rush. Get too tense and you snap. You're in the intelligence department. You need to work more carefully. Also, don't let your personal affairs interfere with your work. I know that. Right, Tsubaki? Noellers? Yes, honestly. I understand how you feel, but we came here to Kagutsuchi on a mission. But we'll definitely find him, Tsubaki. Captain Kisaragi. You don't get it, do you? That's not the only reason why we're here. That's correct. Captain Kisaragi isn't the only person you need to find. Captain Kohaku! Our objective is to search for the missing Captain Jin Kisaragi, as well as capture the Grim Reaper, who has destroyed two NOL branches. Top Priority <clears throat> Excuse me. The top priority is the capture of the Grim Reaper, of course. Please keep that in mind. Yes. Grim Reaper. He's hiding here in Kagutsuchi. Does that mean he intends to target this branch next? If the information is correct, yes. Now, let's divide our work. Noel and Makoto will search for the Grim Reaper. Coordinate with the Kagutsuchi soldiers and find his hideout. Got it. Understood. Tsubaki and Hibiki will search for Jinny. I mean, Captain Kisaragi. If you can convince him to come with us. If not, you're authorized to bring him in by force. By force? You're going to... Ugh, I'm sorry. You're going to be there. I'm sure you won't... I'm sure he won't... Okay, I understand what, how this is written. You're going to be there. I'm sure he won't do anything stupid. Yes, you're right. Leave him to us. Ibiki, look after Tsubaki. I understand. What will you do, Lord Kagura? For now, I'll discuss matters with the Kagatsuchi branch. It's rude to rock... It's rude to rock... Uh, it's rude to walk around someone's yard without talking to them first, after all. I'm sure they aren't too pleased about having people from headquarters show up all of a sudden. Please try not to say anything rude. Alright, alright. I haven't even had a drink all day, you know. Don't worry, it'll go fine. I'll trust you to make sure it does. Anyway, let's go. Yeah, see you later, Subaki. Yes. Be careful, you two. I'm home, meow. <laughs> oh god, I have to voice the kittens. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> oh no, I have to voice the kittens. <laughs> What am I gonna do? <laughs> oh god, here we go. Oh! Towsis! Towsis! Lychee too! Welcome back! <laughs> I hope there's not too much of them. Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> what have I gotten myself into? What's with all these little ones? They're part of the Kaka clan. They built a village in the structural gap of Kagatsuchi, and they live a quiet life. Not many people come here. I know one member who doesn't live a quiet life, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> stop it. That tickles me out. Well, Tao's just especially cheerful and friendly. Tao, do you have a place for him to rest somewhere? Hmm, let's see. 
Is he injured? I can smell blood. Elder, we're sorry for intruding so suddenly. If he's a friend of yours, I don't mind at all. Hold on. If he's a friend of yours, I don't mind at all. If he needs a bed, he can use my house. Maybe a little cramped for a human, but there's enough space to lie down. Thank you very much, Elder. Uh, it's true that my wound hurts, but I could stand and walk. You don't need to treat me like some cripple. I can't allow that. This is part of my responsibility as a doctor. Also, it's not like you're in any particular rush, right? I'm not even sure about that. I, I just can't remember. It's fine for you to stay here, then. There's no need to push yourself and cause your wounds to reopen. First, you need to heal up. Then you can carry. Then you can worry about trying to figure out who and what you are. This seems off. I'm supposedly a wanted criminal, right? Why would you do so much? Why would you do so much to support me, putting your own life in danger? You don't even know me. I'm not really supporting you. I'm just worried. Worried, huh? Good guy and booby lady. What's wrong? You aren't going to the elder's house? Oh yes, that's right. We should go. I need to change your bandages. Uh, I got it. I'll just head there now. Jeez, what a pain. You think in Japanese he said yada yada? I bet he did. We could rewind and check if you want to. <laughs> You're pretty good at this. I guess that's no surprise from a doctor. A lot of rough people live in the neighborhood. I'm always having to treat their wounds. See, it really isn't that bad of a wound. That bang guy said there was a hole in my stomach. I guess he was exaggerating. That's right. But it hasn't fully closed, so you can't push yourself yet. Yeah, yeah. You're a pretty worrisome doctor. I like to think all doctors are like this. Do you mind if I ask you a question? Your arm. What happened to it? My arm? Oh. It's black up to the shoulder. It doesn't seem to be a scar from a burn. Do you not remember anything about your arm either? I don't, but... Oh, seriously. What's up with my arm? Do you mind if I examine it? Don't touch me! Uh, uh, sorry, but... Please don't touch this arm. I'm sorry too, but I think it would be best to have that arm examined. Yeah, when the time comes, go ahead, but not now. I understand. Hey, changing the subject, do you mind if I ask you a question? What is it? Who is the hero of Ikaruga? Huh? You mentioned it before, you said the hero of Ikaruga is here to capture the Grim Reaper. Who is this hero? Ah, right. The Ikaruga Civil War occurred several years ago. A man named Tenjo ruled that region called Ikaruga, and started a rebellion against the Librarium. Several hierarchical cities became battlefields, and the civil war intensified. The hero of Ikaruga, Kagura Mutsuki, brought an end to the war before it could spread further. He was a skilled soldier of the Librarium, who fought on the front lines. Kagura Mutsuki is the hero of Ikaruga? Yes, do you remember the name? No. I don't remember it, but something feels wrong. Kagura? The hero of Ikagura? Ikaru- Fuck. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Kagura? The hero of Ikaruga? There we go. That's impossible. Wait. <sighs> Why do I think that's impossible? I can't even remember the guy's face. 
Do I know this Karuga guy? Karuga. God damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, are, are you okay? Ikaruga. Hero. I know this. That's right. I know what Ikaruga is. I know it? No. That's not all. In Ikaruga, I... <clears throat> calm down. You're okay. Just calm down. It seems like your memories are starting to confuse you. Don't rush it. Just relax for a while. That goes for your wound, too, but amnesia is often caused by heavy stress. Yeah. I'll go and talk to the Elder for a little while. You just need to rest for now. <laughs> Amnesia. Why? How did I lose my memories? I can't remember. I feel like I'm forgetting something really important. Good guy, play with Tao, Meow. Ugh, don't startle me like that. Don't just pop up right in front of my eyes. Don't worry about things like that, Meow. You need to play with Tao, good guy. Let's play, Meow. <laughs> Play, play! Aw. Climb, climb! Ah, me too! Hey, wait up! Don't crowd around me! Don't climb all over me! This looks like fun! Let's climb! Yay! Stop it! Hey, get down! Whoa, those little guys are having fun, Meow! Tao's gonna climb on good guy too! What? Hell no! Don't you remember that I'm injured? Hey, doctor! Doctor, do something about them! What's wrong? Oh, dear. Don't just stand there! Pry them off me! You're quite the mystery. Tao and the little ones have all taken such a liking to you so quickly. I'm not happy about that. You speak roughly, but you must be a good person at heart. Otherwise, children wouldn't take... T bleh. Otherwise, children wouldn't take such an unexpected liking to you. I don't want them to like me. Segundo, you need to calm down. You need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> you need to take a chill pill. <laughs> you need to take it easy. You need to relax, okay? Children. <laughs> God damn it, Segundo. Now that I think about it, Back when I was a kid. Today we're all going to make raspberry jam. Brother? It's nothing, I'm fine. Brother, I'm tired. I know, just a little longer. How long is a little longer? Uh, I want to ask that too. Hey, how long until we get there? You know, the place for picking raspberries? We've been walking for a long time. We should be there already. Maybe we took the wrong path somewhere? Wait, does that mean we're lost? It's okay. We're definitely still in the forest by the church. We can get back as long as we leave the forest. It'll just be a little longer. If we just walk in a straight line... You say that, but you're turning to the right. Huh? I am? Are you an idiot? How bad with directions are you? 
bad with directions. I don't think so. You are! <laughs> Damn it. We shouldn't have followed her. Did she even intend to pick berries in the first place? Maybe she's plotting something and leading us deep into the forest. At this rate, we're all going to starve in the forest. <sighs> Brother? Follow me. We can't let someone who gets lost in a nearby forest lead us. Can we get home? Of course we can. We just have to leave the forest. The sister was saying the same thing. Shut up. Just follow me. But you don't know way around here. You don't... Uh, you don't know your way around here either. We just have to walk in a straight line. Huh? Wait up. Ragna, Jin, Saya. Now you're complaining? What is it? This scent. Do you smell it? Scent? <laughs> oh. It smells kind of sweet and sour. It's a very fresh scent. Must be close. Let's look for it. We don't have time for that. Sister, it's this way. Hey, wait, Saya! We should go, Ragna. It's okay. You are with us after all, right? What? Ugh, fine. It's a long fucking dream, damn. Or flashback, I guess it is, right? Wow, there's so many. Are those raspberries? That's right. Just pick the really red fruits, and we'll take them home. They make delicious jam. But first, we should taste them. Is that okay? Of course. We walked a long way. We can take a little break. We walked so much because you got lost. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm always causing trouble for you, Ragna, but you see, we managed to make it. Jeez. Mm, it's sour. <laughs> Raspberries are a little sour when they're raw, but they make really sweet jam when you boil them. Here, Ragna, have some. I'll pass. They're sweet and sour. They're really They're sweet and sour and really good. I thought it was the sister at first. Ugh. Here, try it, Ragna. I said don't! How is it? It's sour, but it's also good. <laughs> I'm glad. Where the fuck is this? <laughs> ah, there he is. There's no mistake. This is the 13th hierarchical city of Kagutsuchi. Also, the Grim Reaper hasn't attacked the NOL branch yet. Everything looks the same as back then. No, that's not right. Not quite everything. I don't know who this is. Jin, are you okay? No issues here. And you don't seem to be having problems maintaining your awareness. Trinity Glassfield. Oh, it's Trinity. Yes, thanks to your powers, Jin, you're maintaining my consciousness and memories. <laughs> it's not my power. It's the power of order. I think that still means it's thanks to you. I don't care about your opinion. More importantly, what's the meaning of this? I'm sorry. I don't fully understand either. However, this place feels very unstable. As I figured, if memory serves me right. Until just a minute ago, we were in the Yagbiko branch. You have a request. Yes, I can only ask this of you. You're the only one who can accomplish it. Please. Enough with the stalling. Just ask what you want. Okay. I want you to contact Luna and Senna. Platinum. You mean those annoying brats? They're like parasites. Why? 
My goal is to defeat Yuki Terumi. To do that, I need to bring those children to Jubei. Right now, Yuki Terumi is separated from his vessel. This is our chance to attack him. To attack his soul directly. That's why I need Platinum and Jubei's power. However, I used all my strength just to injure his vessel. Now that my powers have weakened, I can't even re-enter the Muturian myself. Even if I did, I wouldn't have the strength to contact Luna and Senna. But I could with your help. And with the help of the power of order. You're saying that I can return you to the Muturian, speak to those children, and bring them to Jubei. Yes. Please, can you do it? I have just one question. Why me? Because you have strength. Also, I just bought... I, I just thought that you would definitely help me. Unfortunately, even if I had the power right now, well, as you can see, I don't exactly have the ability to walk around, let alone fulfill your request. I can barely... I can barely even sit up in my bed. And you're asking me to help you search for children? Are you mocking me? You have the power. You're a strong person. If you agree to help me, I'll smelt a body for you that can move about and fight. Smelt? Yes. However, I can only create something temporary right now. I have no idea how long it would last. When the time limit passes, you won't be able to return your body once you... What? Hold on, let me read this right. When the time limit passes, you won't be able to return to the body you once had? That's a significantly more big... Th Excuse me? <laughs> what? That's a much bigger ask than find some kids and bring them to Jubei. Also kill yourself? I feel like you probably should have started with that part. God damn. You won't be able to use Ars Magus, swing your sword, or fight as you did before. I'm sorry. I know this doesn't sound like a fair offer. You're saying that I'd be able to start moving again immediately. Huh? I'm asking if I'd be able to move around immediately if I accept your offer. I'd be able to fight at my full capacity? Yes. The smelting wouldn't take... wouldn't even take an hour to complete. If that's the case... Then do it. Would that really be okay? Once the body I create reaches its limit, you will... You don't need to repeat yourself. And it's pointless for me to have a body that can't fight. I'll fulfill my end of the deal. Give me a new body. Thank you very much. So Jin's gonna die, huh? How about that? Anyway, we need to search for those children. Do you have any idea where they could be? No. The last time they came to the city, they walked around everywhere. What a useless guide. I'm sorry, but we, we need to find them. We might need to find them in a hurry. Why? Those children were originally unstable beings. If they stay too long in a place that's also unstable, it could affect them. Their existences themselves could disappear. If the people we're looking for disappear, I can't fulfill my end of the deal. Um. You have no clue where they are, yet you want me to find them in a hurry. Seriously. Why are all the six heroes so unreasonable? I'm sorry. The Grim Reaper was supposed to have been sighted around here, but... It's no good. I can't find him anywhere. There was a dine and ditch report downtown that sounded promising, but... I couldn't find any useful information there, either. Captain Kisaragi is supposed to be in Kagatsuchi, too, but... Will I really be able to find him? No. I can't start complaining yet. Makoto and the others are working under the same conditions. I need to do my best, too. 
Huh? Who's that? You there, stop. Damn. You're an outsider, aren't you? This area is currently under level D lockdown. Depending on your answers, I may have to place you under arrest. Ah! Damn. She dodged it? She seemed pretty slow, judging from what you said. You're with the library, aren't you? And you're a vigilante. No, wait. A mercenary from another... S a mercenary from another sector? I take your silence as a yes. Answer me. Kagutsuchi is closed to intervention from other sectors. Why did you come here? I have no reason to tell you, but it'd be troublesome if you called for reinforcements. I'll just have to make you sleep for a while. I have no choice. I'll be taking you in by force. Who am I going to play as? Noelle the Bullet? Probably Noelle. Oh god, I picked Hell Mode. <laughs> I don't know how to play it. Oh god, what have I done? Why did I do this to myself? Oh god. Alright. Ah! I can't believe she just grabbed me! Out of her mind! Ah! How do I play? No! Ah, I'm dead! <laughs> Damn. This might be a wrap. Uh, okay. God, her, God, Noelle sucks. Ah! Leave me alone. Why did that land? Okay, alright. <laughs> no, 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 I got this. It's fine. I know how to play as Noel now. I gotta do this. Why does that work? I, I thought she's invulnerable. What the fuck? How do I do Nevis Stabilizer? I don't know how! Uh-oh! Got him. <laughs> One second. There! Ugh. Ugh. Damn. I underestimated you. I guess I shouldn't be judging people by their looks. Now, please surrender peacefully. I'm placing you under arrest. <sighs> Retreat, bullet. What? Who? But, Captain! If we withdraw now, the enemy will call for reinforcements. I said retreat. The situation has changed. We need to regroup. This is an order from above. Don't stir up trouble with the library right now. Understood. 
Wait. <sighs> Was that the Red Devil of Sector 7? I need to report to Colonel Mutsky for now. Huh? It won't connect. Why? There's no use trying to make a call. Uh, who's there? Whoa, whoa now. No need to take a stance like that. I don't believe in fighting between allies. Allies? Who are you? Oh, my apologies. You're Lieutenant Noel Vermillion from the 4th Division, yes? I'm Hazama from the Intelligence Department. It's a pleasure to meet you. Intelligence Department? What's someone from Intelligence doing in Kagutsuchi? Hey now, watch your tongue. Just so we're, uh, sorry. Just so we're made aware, I do happen to be two ranks above you. What? Oh, I'm very sorry, Captain Hazama. Um, you said communications were useless earlier. What does that mean, sir? It seems the entire region around Kagutsuchi is being jammed by an unknown party. I can't connect to headquarters myself. It's very troublesome. Communications in all of Kagutsuchi are being jammed? Is something like that even possible? Yes, it's possible for someone like the famous Kokonoe of Sector 7. Sector 7? Those people really were. I need to hurry and report this situation to Colonel Mutsuki. I'd like to do so as well, but... As you know, that's difficult to accomplish at the moment. I even figured out where the Grim Reaper is, but I can't even tell headquarters about it. What a shame. Well, the Grim Reaper's location? I'm actually on a mission to find the Grim Reaper as well. Ah, how convenient. I need to go and report this to Kakatsuchi Branch Office. Can you follow and keep an eye on him for me? He was sighted in the lowest level of Kakatsuchi, at the... Kaka Clan Village. The Kaka Clan? The situation has become more urgent now that we know that Sector 7 is involved. Your mission is of utmost importance. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant Noel Vermillion. Yes, sir. Please leave it to me, Captain. Very well. Good luck. I'll be off now. Kaka Clan. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere before, but where? And why would the Grim Reaper be there? Doesn't matter. I should try going. I am out of water. That's a shame. Is this good enough, Teremi? Yes, perfect. Still, having to start over from the beginning. Damn it, how irritating. Good work. Nobody saw you, right? Wouldn't make a mistake like that. I've transferred to the 4th Division, but I'm still from Intelligence. Alright. So, did you install it? Yep, it's all set. But why are we jamming communications? Your superior, Hazama, has been running around. I don't know if it's on orders from HQ or if he's doing things on his own, but we can't afford to have... To give the Grim Reaper to him. That's why. Wait, Captain Hazama? I see. So we're making no changes to our plans? Exactly. Just as originally planned, you are to go and rendezvous with them. The password is Nu. Don't get it wrong. It's not Moo or Mo. It's not Moo or No. The password is Nu. Got it? Excuse me. Yeah, I got it. I won't mess it up. It'll be easy. I hope it's easy. Ragnia! Play more, more! It's not enough! Yanya! <laughs> You still haven't played enough? 
How much energy do you all have? Let me take a break. I'm still supposed to be healing, remember? What? That's boring, Meow. So selfish. <laughs> so mean. You're all so merciless. Meow, the little ones are usually playing with Tao. This definitely isn't enough yet. They always play three times as much, Meow. You're kidding. Oh, well, Lychee. Play with us, Lychee. <sighs> okay, what do you want to play? <clears throat> Can you remember anything yet, dear guest? Segundo, please. <laughs> please stop. <laughs> please. I have to start muting words in my fucking stream. I don't know how to do that. I gotta go Google it. Can't be having you say these things, man. Come on. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> Please. No, it's just... When I see them, I feel like something similar happened before. I don't know when it was, but I feel like it was probably long ago. Hmm. Hopefully it serves to give you a hint, but first, you should rest up. I'd love to rest, but if you really want that, you do something about them. Wait, what? I'd love to rest, but if you really want that, you do something about What the fuck does that mean? What? Oh, uh, this, this camera angle is necessary. Damn it. By the way, about your right arm... This is bad. This is terrible. Hmm? This voice. It's the scruffy guy. This is awful. Whoa, dude, don't just barge in here. B bang? It's Bang. Bang, play with us. Bang. Bang. Ah, you seem to be well today as always. Very well. Today I shall teach you the ancient game of... Hey, weren't you saying something was awful? Gadzooks, that's right! <laughs> I'm very sorry, young ones, but we'll have to play some other time. What? That's no fun. What happened, Bang? Well, I was on my way to the upper level to investigate the library, when along the way I discovered a suspicious female soldier. A suspicious female soldier? Yes, she was very wary of those around her, so I thought that the librarian may have sent her to hunt the Grim Reaper. I decided to shadow her. Huh. Sounds like something a ninja would do. When lo and behold, she suddenly headed straight towards this village and arrived before I knew it. I figured that the soldier must be searching for the Grim Reaper. Having determined this, I came dashing here at full speed to tell you. What? You followed a soldier and she arrived here? Wait, old man, about that soldier. Where is she now? Hmm. Why, of course, she's surveying the entrance to the village. What? You could have mentioned that first. Yeah, shit. This is bad. What should we do? Bad news, meow. I haven't got any of my memories back. I don't want them to catch me. Hey, Tao. Is there some sort of secret exit from the village? Hmm, there's a sewer near the back, but it's very dangerous. I can't recommend it, meow. If they learn that you aided the Grim Reaper... You could be in danger, Miss Lychee. I shall go and turn away the intruder. I should be able to convince her. To, I should be able to convince her to leave. You don't seem like a very soothed, smooth. Damn. Give me a second. I gotta recalibrate, reticulate my splines. Been at this for about two hours, I think. Right? Hold on. Yeah, about two hours now. Voice is starting to give out. I didn't realize how hard this would be. You don't seem like a very smooth talker. Would you really be okay? <laughs> what are you saying? Psychological warfare is easy for a ninja. Just leave it to me. Hmm. Wait, Bang, I'll go. What? But Miss Lychee, if the library starts keeping an eye uh, bleh, if the library starts keeping an eye on you, it'll be fine. Some soldiers are among my patients. Any of them could prove that I'm just a regular doctor. It's okay. 
They aren't going to arrest me. Grim Reaper, you wait here too. I'll make that soldier leave, don't worry. Huh? Uh, sure. Anyway, I'll be going now. Oh, sorry, no, that's, that's Lychee. Anyway, I'll be going now. I'm allowing Miss Lychee to place herself in danger. I really am unreliable. This is the greatest failure of my life. Yeah, Is the booby lady going to get caught by the library? No need to worry, Tao. Lychee is a very smart human. I'm sure she'll find a way to convince them. That's right. Miss Lychee is many times, no, many hundred times smarter than I am. She can easily handle a mere soldier. There's nothing to fear, Mr. Grim Reaper. Hmm? Meow? Good guy? This is strange. Where could he have gone off to? Probably went to the sewer, I think. Give me just a second. Okay, I'm back. Hmm. No sign of movement. Is the Grim Reaper really here? I'm not sure. But I doubt the information from the intelligence department is wrong. <sighs> only I could use my communicator. I could call for reinforcements. No, there's no use complaining about things I can't do. What I can do now is catch the is watch the Grim Reaper. But to do that, I need to hurry up and find him. I'm sure Captain Hazma will bring reinforce I'm sure Captain Hazma will bring reinforcements eventually. I just need to make sure nobody sees me until then. You there, did you need something in this village? Huh? It looks like you've been staring at the village for a while. You're kind of standing out. you looking a bit suspicious, in fact. There's nothing suspicious about me. Someone already managed to find me. I really must be... Okay. Someone, managed already... Someone already managed to find me. I must be really bad at this. Huh? Bad at what? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. More importantly... <clears throat> I am Lieutenant Noel Vermillion of the NOL 4th Division. I came here to investigate sightings of a suspicious person in this village. Please provide any assistance you can. What? Lieutenant, are you misunderstanding something? I'm a doctor, and I came to this vi I come to this village every day to perform medical examinations. There aren't any Uh-oh. There aren't any suspicious people here. I've never heard of that I've never heard of that from any of my patients either. I've never heard of I've never heard of that from any of my patients either. Yeah, unfortunately the localization for the fourth game is also not as good as the first three. Like even just in the text, it sucks. It's still not like horrible or anything, but there's like little things that they didn't go through in translation. Really? I'm curious about the hesitation just now. Very well. Do you recognize this man? Oh my! This is the Grim Reaper, right? His heinous crimes are mentioned in a lot of my uh, are mentioned a lot in my clinic, but I'm sorry, I've never actually seen him myself. She didn't change her expression at all upon seeing the wanted poster. Looks like she really doesn't know. Maybe the intelligence department's info was wrong after all. I understand. However. I'd like to inspect the village as a precaution. Could you show me around? Yes, of course. I don't mind, but... Miss Lychee! Oh, my voice is giving out, dude. Hold on a second. We may have to cut this short. I got one more sip of water left. <clears throat> Miss Lychee! Miss Lychee! Bang? This is bad. The Grim Reaper has run away. <laughs> oh my god. 
Oh no, bang! <laughs> the Grim Reaper has run away, Miss Lychee. Uh, <laughs> I feel that, Lychee. I feel that. Oh man, <laughs> that's rough. The Grim Reaper? So he really was in the village! Miss Lychee, the Grim Reaper! Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Bang! Uh, wait a second. Never mind that. It was nothing. I meant to say the Dim Creeper. Yes. Uh, not so bright man who's always creeping on Miss Lychee. Ha <laughs> uh, Good riddance. Oh, stop spouting nonsense. Where'd he go? Well, you see, he was gone when I realized it. If I had to guess, he probably went through the drainage facility in the back of the village. Back of the village. Got it. Thank you, Bang. Wait. Tell me about the Grim Reaper. Oh no! The library is after Miss Lychee! Miss Lychee, I'm coming to save you! Oh, bang. God damn it. <laughs> you screwed the pooch. <laughs> no! Damn it. I'm completely lost. Maybe I should have brought Tao along to lead the way. Nah, if I brought her, she'd make so much noise that they'd find me in no time flat. Noise, huh? Really was a pretty lively place. That warm feeling I got when the Kaka kids were clamoring all over me. What was that, anyway? Ugh! Damn it! What was that? What the hell did I forget? What is this presence? Something's coming closer. No. It's... It's already here. My right arm. Damn it. What's going on? Okay. Uh, we may need to wrap this up soon, because Arakude is going to fucking massacre my voice. <clears throat> <laughs> found it. Found Azure. Found a piece. Who's there? Where the hell are you? <laughs> what the hell is this monster? Is it even alive? Azure, 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 peace, give me. Whoa! Damn you, freak! <laughs> Azure, weak, me, real. Damn, nothing's working. What's with this? Ugh, again? This right arm, what's wrong with it? React. Azure, feel it. Strong. Azure, feel it. Hey, where the hell are you looking? I'm over here. <laughs> Strong Azure, this one. Real Azure. <laughs> it ran away? But this ache is still lingering. Does that mean there's something ahead? Damn it. I don't get this at all. Ah! What? That was a girl scream. It came from over there. No mistake. You... Azure, true Azure, you have it. Give Azure, all Azure, mine, I devour. Stay back. If you get any closer, I'll shoot. <laughs> Nox Notorious. Azure has Nox Notorious. Give all, all, all. I devour all. I have no choice. Bulwark. Fire. Ah, oh, dude, my voice is crapping out. Oh, boy. I'm getting lightheaded, too. <laughs> How about this? Azure. Azure, 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 Azure. Oh my god, I can't do it. Oh, dude, I'm running out of gas. <laughs> finally. Finally devour. Tasty good smell. Stay away. 
Please stay away from me. Oh, damn. <laughs> I eat now. Huh? Are you okay? Whoa, whoa, why is it? Stop it. Okay, that was weird. Uh, I don't know the button to show the archive. I think it's this button. There we go. Huh? Are you okay? I'm fine, but be careful. Attacks don't seem to affect that thing. And it doesn't listen. I can see that. <laughs> but it does look like it takes damage. Azure. Azure. Feel. What? Azure. Jeez. I thought you ran away, but here you are attacking some girl. I'm not letting you get away this time. Hey. You're just gonna get in the way. Stand back. I can fight too. What? Hey! <laughs> ah! You're totally useless, you idiot. Damn it. Uh, you aren't dead, are you? Uh, uh. Looks like she's fine, somewhat. Ugh. Azure. Azure mixing. Which? Which one? Real Azure. Mm, devour both. Alright. That last attack seemed to work. What does that mean? Does the ache in my right arm have something to do with it? Well, that doesn't matter right now. Besides, that thing's the one that attacked first. Come on! Bring it on! You cold tar looking bastard! Okay. Back to Ragna. So, this should be my expertise. Well, not really. Oh, jeez. Oh, why did that miss? Astrals? No. Okay. Gah! Jeez. What a pain in the ass. But seriously, what is this thing? <sighs> You're not getting away. Wait. Whoa. You're in the way. Move. Please don't kill him. What? Him? Damn it. So now you know something about this thing? <sighs> Azure. One day. Azure. 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 One day. Sounds like that thing's going to be back. Hey, you. Do you know what that black thing was? Yes. Seriously? Alright, I get it. You were just helping me for this. Tell me everything. Don't try to hide anything. Or am I gonna have to fight you next? I'm sorry, with the Azure Grimoire, I thought that... I thought Arachne would definitely appear to take it. Arachne? Is that that black thing's name? And what's this Azure Grimoire? Just so you know, I don't have any books with me. You really haven't realized it? What? Your right arm. That's the Azure Grimoire. My right arm? What? What are you talking about? I don't know why you have the Azure Grimoire, but that's certainly the real thing, or at least I think it is. It's certainly the real thing, you think? Make up your mind! You were gravely injured when Bang brought you. There was a hole in your abdomen, 
and your organs were destroyed. Normally, that would have been fatal. However, your wound started repairing itself right in front of my eyes. Even someone like me could feel the azure at work. A normal grimoire would never give such a strong feeling of the azure, so that's why I thought... Can I ask you a really basic question? What is it? What is the Azure Grimoire? Also known as the Blaze Blue, it's the only grimoire in the world that can directly access, access the Azure. I hear that it's simultaneously both the strongest and the worst grimoire. The worst, huh? Okay, so what is this Azure? I don't know the details, but wait, you don't even know? If I said it has the power of gods, would you believe me? Are you serious? Anyway, I'm sorry for not telling you sooner. I mean it. But I need your Azure Grimoire to turn him back to normal. Please lend me your power. <laughs> like I care. I don't even know myself. And now there's this Azure and Grimoires and bounties and vigilantes to deal with. I don't have time to deal with other people's problems. In that case, I can help you. I'm thankful that you treated me, and I don't care that you hid all this from me, but sorry, I'm going off on my own from now on. You still don't have memories, right? I'm sure I can help you. Please, won't you reconsider? So that you can use me as bait again? Like I can trust you. <laughs> oh, right, I forgot about her. The doctor will talk later. Good. Looks like she's still alive. Hey, are you alright? Uh, wait, her. Oh wait, sorry, that's Lychee. Wait, her? Do you know her? She's a librarian soldier who's looking for the Grim Reaper. She'll likely try to capture you when she awakens. You should kill her while you have the chance. Whoa, whoa, you're a doctor. Don't say such disturbing things like that in front of injured people. But what if she calls for more soldiers? We'll end up in a lot of trouble. That's true, but I'm not even used to killing people. Am I supposed to do that? I'm, uh, I'm not even used to killing people. Am I supposed to be that terrible of a guy? A brutal murderer, at least according to rumors. I guess they weren't kidding with the Grim Reaper. Damn, ma'am. I guess they weren't kidding with the Grim Reaper name. Damn it. What should I do? I'm still worried about her, but she doesn't seem to have any major injuries, so she should be okay. Still, I kind of recognize her face. We never met before, right? Or do I know her? If I do, damn it, I can't remember. Hmm? I think I've seen this text before. What is it? It says something. Number 12. Or, I'm sorry, that's, that's Ragna. Number 12, Murakumo. Okay, uh, we are going to put a kibosh on this for now. My voice is shot. I, I don't even know how to approach new at this, at this juncture. Uh, so we're going to, so how long have we been streaming? Let's see. Uh, we've been at it for about two and a half hours. That's not bad. Uh, I thought I could make it a little bit longer, but my voice is completely shot. <laughs> uh, hopefully that will, the, the more times I, I do sessions for this, because I do plan to do the whole story, but the more I do sessions for this, hopefully the, the easier it'll get on my voice. Uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we're going to stop for now. Uh, so let's make a save. Okay. And we're going to go out of here. My voice. Holy fuck.